years ago on Valentine's Day, I was diagnosed with stage 4 neuroblastoma. It's a rare childhood cancer. You don't think of, oh my god, I'm going to die. It's more like, I'm going to lose my hair. I'm going to be skinny. I'm going to not be able to eat. I'm going to be in the hospital all the time. I can't go to school. I can't see my friends. Unfortunately, cancer is a cruel component of Talia Castellano's childhood. Five rounds of chemotherapy, then she had surgery, then we did another round of um, chemotherapy, then we went for stem cell transplant, then she had radiation. She needed a lot of platelets and a lot of blood. Many may remember her as the girl who personally thanked her donors during the 2010 multi-gallon donor appreciation event. You've motivated, inspired people to give that never gave blood before. Would you like to meet the donors here in this room who, who helped save your life? How does this feel having all these people up here? Uh, You're speechless. Yeah. <clears throat> that was two years ago. I relapsed twice since then. She still has uh, two spots. Um, they are slowly getting smaller, but the cancer's still there, and we're still we're still fighting. Part of Talia's treatment includes a time-release chemotherapy capsule, along with platelets from donors every three weeks. It's really, really incredible to think about y your life depending on someone just going and donating blood. It's really. In a way, scary, in a way, thankful, and you feel just mixed emotions when you really do think about that, on how it, it's really up to you on whether or not you want to go and donate blood. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Talia's not letting cancer get her down. Now 12 years old, she's an internet sensation. I'm not, I'm not like a celebrity, I'm on YouTube, but to think about 60,000 people are uh, subscribed to me, and that's, that's just the people subscribe to me. Some people don't have channels. So next I'm going to be applying a lipstick. Her video started as mini makeup tutorials. And that, it's a really nice red. And turned into messages of hope and inspiration that have been seen by more than one million people across the globe. That's what I was planning to do, is to make other young girls and young adults and adults and anyone feel beautiful by using makeup. And that's my slogan that I use is makeup is my wig because I don't like wigs. They like, they're so, I don't know, when I have on a wig I feel not fake but just not me. And so when I put on my makeup I feel like I can embrace those features that I really like about myself and feel that, you know, if someone's looking at me, they're looking at my makeup. They're not looking at my bald head. Talia even teamed up with MAC Makeup and Base Camp for the Glam Wars. That's a day of beauty for seven young cancer patients. What I felt that night laying in bed was, I don't know, passionate, grateful, accomplished. I felt good. I felt good to know that I made seven other young girls going through what I go through feel amazing. She wears that bald head proudly and beautifully. You know, she's an inspiration to so many people. She's my hero. She's a, she's a hero in my eyes. I mean, I think she's an amazing young lady and I think she's destined to do great things. The spots are getting smaller and that's a good thing. Whether or not they'll always go away, we don't know. Um, it's, it's a quality of life and the chemo that she's having is, is working and it's a great quality of life. Is that, that's what we want and we're just going to hope for the best. Keep donating the blood and the platelets because we definitely need them. Donate, yeah.